what's up guys welcome back to the channel my name is Travis it's another hot day here in North Carolina with a day full of no cooling calls so uh, we got a call here we're going to basically it said it was no cooling they said another company had been out there and replaced a capacitor and and cleaned some coils and it's still not working so we're going behind another company on this this call and they said they could never get back in touch with that other company so there's no telling what we're going to end up finding out at this place so we go ahead to this call i appreciate you guys for joining me uh, it's always great having you uh, run service calls with me it makes my mood so much better to have you here and as always with me and you working together we can fix anything so all right guys i'll see you at the customer's house all right uh, we got to the customer's house found out what's going on with it this there's one system that's up in the attic they have a condensing unit outside and they have a zoning system on this on this unit they have a thermostat for upstairs and a thermostat for downstairs the problem is is that the upstairs thermostat is completely blank the downstairs thermostat will not turn the unit on. What I've found out from this customer is that they've had three companies come out here to try to figure out what's wrong with this system. And everybody has told her that she needed batteries in her, her thermostat. I don't know who has been out at this call, what they were, if they even knew anything about heating and air conditioning. That is definitely not her problem. I went up to the furnace just to take a look. It doesn't look like I'm getting any power to anything. So uh, this is going to be a very interesting call. So meet me up in the attic and let's get started. All right, after checking the furnace and finding out we didn't get any power, I went down to the breaker. The breaker is, is on. So what we need to do is you've got to disconnect this in between the breaker and the furnace. And it's a little light switch. I'm going to show you right here. And to, and to find that is you just follow your power wire from your furnace going right up. It's going to be a little... A little light switch so on this we need to remove these two screws a lot of times this this switch will go bad especially in the attic I don't know what it is I guess it's the heat from the attic uh, I find a lot of times these 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 switches just basically fall apart so I'm gonna take this out and uh, I'll let you guys see all right guys I found the problem the problem is this little switch here as you can see the wire this has came apart and the wire for the furnace had actually slipped out and is basically in our in our junction box here. So that's why I was saying if, you're, if your breaker is good, you're not getting any power to your furnace. The first thing I would check is these, these little light switches up in the attic. It's the heat or whatever basically causes these switches to, to go out and to malfunction and they end up coming apart. Your wire comes apart. And then basically you don't have any power to the furnace. So that's basically what it is, guys. Uh, I'm going to pop this switch in right quick. Basically that should be good for the customer. Remember, always check your, your Freon charge. Always check your temperature drop. I'm going to save that for you because I do have videos on that if you want more information on that. Another service call down. Another easy service call. And it's always easy when you're helping me. So another happy customer. And I will see you guys on the next video. See you then.